97, 96 people. Morning all. Thanks for joining me on the, today's episode of Fields of Dreams. Um, it's like 6.15 in the morning. I uh, spent the last 10 minutes or so trying to film this intro. I had something really pithy to say, but my coffee hasn't kicked in yet. So um, today I'm in New London, Connecticut. This is the Thames, Thames, I don't know how, I don't know if there's a local pronunciation for it, River. Um, and I'm gonna be walking around Mitchell College. Um, which is the other school in New London. Everyone's familiar with Connecticut College. There's a Field of Dreams that I will point, you know, link to um, on Connecticut, and they're the, on the men's side, the 2021 national champions. But on the other side of New London, in a beautiful setting, they have their own private beach, is, uh, is Mitchell. So um, here you go, and hope you enjoy it. Sticky stuff. Um, there's a bunch of them here, so show the wooden line. Packed a couple of these in. So I am coming from the beach. So the one end of campus, which is their private beach, and I'm starting to walk up a hill and heading onto the main part of campus. And so it's like this place right here is called the Clark Center. I, it's too early. I don't think I'll get a, be able to get a hat, but um, I do love the logo with the lighthouse. Um, I'll attach it somewhere. And I think I'm literally the soccer field is on the complete opposite. look like some dormy things some more Adirondack chairs there's plenty of them I don't think they would notice and I don't know if this is a street but it seems like there's a gate and whatnot here I'll cross over and keep going right across the street um, are some lovely tennis courts it's like a tennis center of sorts where their tennis team plays. And then right across on the other side of the walkway, that looks like it's a softball, baseball, softball. There's two of them. There's this one, and then there's this one. And they look kind of small, um, but um, so I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not a baseball guy, but. I just okay. learned that this is called Mitchell Woods. This is the, this is part of the college. It's like a nice park setting. I don't know what that building is. Um, so yeah, and then over that way is uh, our dorms and whatnot. I think that's where the fields are. Um, so this is, Looks like a baseball field. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna wander. Oh, I don't think I can go this way. Okay. I'm gonna find my way the other way. Okay, this I think is like their dorm and athletic area. Um, there's something there. Home of the Mariners. That's pretty cool. Um, Simpson Hall. I think these are dorms. And then if 
I remember looking at the map, this might be like some rec center right here. So it looks like the Yarnow, Yarnow Center has uh, the wellness center and gym and basketball court. But um, being that it is quarter to seven, uh, it's not open. Okay, so this is uh, the, I guess the stadium, the baseball stadium, which is all turf. This is legit baseball here. So I guess what I saw originally in that park was, um, I don't know, maybe Little League? I don't know. Um, there's some more stuff. Looks like hoop courts and another field of sorts up there. We'll go check out. And then I think that might be the soccer field now. And there's a softball court, a court field. Stadium. Um, again, looks, I mean, relatively new. That's the soccer field. That's the baseball stadium. Um, this, I don't know if that's part of the college. This is Toby something park. Um, so I don't know if that has anything to do. I can't get over there. So. But <clears throat> this would, hey, I'd play softball. This is a pretty cool little little place again. So with a backdrop and neighborhood and and it's a surface. And this is top of the line. Are you kidding me? So this is the soccer field. And whatever, it looks like field hockey and maybe lacrosse. And, um, those are the benches. Um, turf field. This looks brand new or relatively close to brand new. There's a scoreboard. Um, home of the Mariners. Let's see if I can zoom in. Um, lovely wooded backdrop. campus is sort of over there across that street these are the this is the dorm area that I sort of mentioned that's like the, the basketball the arena the wellness center there's some stands and a little press box that's the baseball field um, and that's the softball field I'll go check out next and so yeah, this is a great little place. It's got a bunch of stuff over there. As you can see, it's a neighborhood. Uh, but this is really nice. Like I said, it feels brand new. The turf almost feels like it's super spongy. You know, you walk and you can feel the bounce in it. It hasn't settled. So which leads me to believe this is relatively new and the cement looks fresh. So who knows? If this is where they used to play, where they're, because they, they're, I've seen pictures of where they're playing on a grass field. And uh, there's a, a great picture of a very famous soccer alum who um, uh, is, you know, graduated from Mitchell College and had a pretty successful career here. Andrew Storton is the, Assistant coach at Connecticut College in the 2021 
Yeah, it's a cool little school. It definitely has that maritime vibe. There are a lot of, uh, not a lot, but there's 10 or sort of these older house, you know, New Englandy type houses that act as, you know, there's admissions or you know, the finance office or the, what have you. And um, definitely great views. It's right across from Groton, Connecticut, where um, they build nuclear submarines, or they used to. And, uh, you know, another little, little diamond of a school. And the athletic facilities, like I said, they look, the fields at least, the softball, baseball, and soccer, lacrosse, what have you, look brand new. Um, and yeah, another one of the you know, 400 and some odd division three schools that is responsible for educating future leaders. So, okay. By the way, I love this type of flagpole. It looks like a mast. Is that cool or what? I don't like it. anyhow, whatever. All right, so I'm out. Thanks. Okay, gotta take a side note and geek out a little bit at Fort Trumbull, which is a, you know, I think it's like 200 plus years old. Um, and I just came across it and know, should have known. But, can we geek out for a little bit? It's the entrance, and unfortunately, it's closed. Um, designed to resemble an Egyptian temple entrance kind of new but these things are massive like if you attack this place I mean good luck right I mean that's why they just bombarded the heck out of places like this in the Civil War and whatnot incredible view to protect ultimately what was New London and, um, so let me go out to the tail end over there that's New London over there. You can kind of make out the bridge. On the other side is the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. Beautiful, beautiful 